Hello, I'm Ben Way with today's Sky Racing News update. Racing New South Wales has postponed Tuesday's eight race card at Scone as the state prepares for potentially catastrophic weather conditions. Forecasters have predicted temperatures to reach 36 degrees and winds in excess of 35 kilometres per hour for the Greater Hunter region. Racing New South Wales rescheduled the meeting to Wednesday in conjunction with the provincial meeting set down at Hawkesbury. New times have been published for the Scone meeting with the first race set to commence at 1.15pm Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. The Hawkesbury meeting will commence at 1.30 p.m. Further details are available at the Racing New South Wales website. Newcastle sprinter Graf has been the best supported runner to win Saturday's inaugural $1 million The Hunter at Newcastle. The Chris Lees trained stallion has been backed from an opening quote of $8 to clear $4 favouritism for the rich provincial feature. Lees has five runners nominated to contest the 1300 metre event, including joint second favourite and three-time Group 1 winner Le Romain. Lees told Racing New South Wales he believes the race will be well received and expects it to be even better in the years to come. The $1 million The Hunter joins the $1 million The Gong at Kembla Grange as the richest races to run at provincial tracks in New South Wales racing history. Trainer Toby Edmonds has been hospitalised following a track work accident at the Gold Coast on Monday morning. AAP reports Edmonds was attempting to stop a runaway horse which knocked him to the ground and rendered him unconscious. Son and co-trainer Trent Edmonds said the 2017 Magic Millions winning trainer was in good spirits as he awaits further tests to determine the full extent of his injuries. The Edmonds training partnership presented sparkling facet at Monday's Lismore meeting where the five-year-old mare recorded a classy one and a half length win. This Friday will host the opening night of Sydney's Friday night racing season at Canterbury. The meeting will be the first of 10 Friday night meetings at Canterbury, which will run through until the end of February. Entry will be free for all of the meetings. The food markets will be back and there will be plenty of entertainment for the families and the kids. Thanks very much for watching another Sky Racing News Update.